Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is very early in the morning. We are still here in Price. I did not want to do that to the map. Get rid of that. And we're going to be heading up to Rock Springs at the Coca-Cola plant. Or I'm assuming it's a plant. Um, it's a Coca-Cola facility of some sorts. I'll put it that way. Uh, da -da -da -da. Beginning route navigation. And we're hauling empty pallets from this Walmart. So what do you guys say? We hop up into the cab, get these uh, trailer lights turned off. I just got done doing my uh, pre-trip inspection. Uh, these lights help with that immensely. Uh, I just need a flashlight to make sure anything on the cab is taken care of, but getting those installed on the trailer help out greatly. So like I said, let's uh, flip these off. Turn off the hazards, get in the truck, get it turned on, of course. Uh, turn that off, because I don't want that. Get our headlights on. Get comfortable in our chair for this trip. This might be a little bit longer than the last one, but we will see. Looks like it's about almost 11 o'clock at night and the ETA there on the dash says I believe about 5 15 in the morning so might be a little bit of a quick trip maybe a little bit longer if that's actually 6 15 not 5 15 but regardless let's get going turn right Un momento, por favor. Alright, so I ended up uh, making it a automatic transition transition transmission for me. Just because, you know, with the kind of truck I meant to do that before I hit record. Use I, the left lane, then I, turn left. Okay, I'm trying to talk here. And I kind of forgot about that. Turn left. Um so, sorry about that. Quick little edit to the video will remove that so you guys don't have to deal with me changing it. Plus, you won't have to hear me Take the um, turn ahead. grinding gears as you hear my dog possibly in the background kind of maybe agreeing or disagreeing with me. I don't know. Turn right. Maybe my little co-pilot buried his bone in the seat and he can't find it. Uh, but let's get on the highway here and get on down the road. Thankfully not much traffic this early or late in the night. I guess it would be late considering it's still before midnight. At least in game, it looks like it's 72 degrees outside. Here in the real world, at this time of recording, not so much. I'll put it this way we had highs in the 80s just a couple days ago, and I think today it maybe got into the 50s. Possibly the same for tomorrow, and they're call, calling for a freeze warning tonight. Keep in mind, it's late April. And with uh, what I have in my planted in my garden, I start with seeds only. The last couple of years, and same with this year. But between the cold and due to me planting so early, just a couple weeks ago actually. Uh, between the cold, few cold nights we've had since then, and my dog just loving to go into the garden and stomp all over everything, I think I'll be lucky if I get anything to grow. I noticed the other day I had a shoot of asparagus growing from one of my 
plants I did planted last year. And before I knew it, I realized my dog chomped it off at the base and chewed on it. So I'm going to be investing in a short little two foot fence around my garden to protect my dogs from getting into it, as opposed to all the other critters and animals going around the area. Yeah, not too happy about that, but... Mm, Take the right turn ahead. It is what it is. That's right, we're heading north. Turn right. There's a train crossing there. Trucks crossing? No, you got that wrong. It's trains crossing. Let's see yeah, any other trains, so we should be good. Don't hear any either. Oh, is this it? Uh, I wonder if this is the uh, way that is very curvy and very difficult. Which makes me glad I took off the manual transmission, if that's the case. Because the automatic will make this so much easier. and getting those high beams off for the oncoming traffic there. Because they're, all they're going to do is flash theirs at me. But, yeah. That's about all I'm going to say about that. Uh, <laughs> it's too late in the night for that. Why is there so much traffic today? engine brake and slow me down. Must have flattened out a little bit. We were slowing down farther than I was expecting to. Getting into a little bit of a town. Don't need those. Sorry. Had a niche on my nose. Use the right lane, then turn right. Turn right. Ooh, two beautiful counties there. Quite a bit of truck traffic on this road. expect me to go.
straight. Got a curve first, little lady. Of course, there's a train going past outside now. Man, I just can't win. just because it's Futurama. I Keep love Futurama right. though. Um, but just the configuration right now, it's just sitting right with me. It just feels nice to run. Feels there on the right. It's either on the right or the left. I'll know eventually when it uh, yells at me for having low fuel. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those guys. Or after this load, I might just say screw it and go get it filled up. Yes, hi, dog. I'm driving. So if you guys have noticed some of the differences in my intros and outros, a part of that is due to, well, for one, my new PC, but I haven't quite gotten all of my uh, parts and pieces transferred over to the new computer from the old one, as I'm kind of swapping between lanes, it's because my dog is trying to bite my other hand, and he's kind of drawing my attention from the driving and whatnot but ooh, continue straight there we go but I've decided and I kind of like it putting my two pups on not only the intro but also the outro I like it they are a big part of my life they are my kids after continue all. straight the white one is a Bichon uh, his name is Cotton. It was his name before I adopted him. Uh, and I just kept it because it just kind of fit. Uh, my last Bashan um, that passed away. Use the left lane. About a then year and a half ago. Left. Um, his name was Cotton. Was, uh, not Cotton. Was Comet. Turn left. And it's because he was just a ball of energy and just ran all over the place. Um, he was a Bashan as well, but anyway, uh, the other one is a Toy Fox Terrier. Her name is Zorana, and she's more the higher pitched type of bark. The one that, you know, just won't shut up when she gets going, and it's got a lot to do with her being, I believe, mostly deaf. She just hears herself barking, and I, it, I think it just keeps her going until I yell at her. <laughs> and if Cotton barks, he gets her going. So it's, yeah. When it comes to my roommate coming home or anything going on outside, 
it can take any little thing and it just gets them going. But, especially in ATS and farming, they are my co-pilots. So like I said, Comet and Zorana are the ones that are on my intro and now outro. driving at night and there's really no one here. Uh, yep. <laughs> I see that jackknife coming up ahead. This won't be pretty too much if I'm going too quick. And the right lane is ending too. There we go. someone coming up behind me. So that could have been bad. So one thing I'm noticing is we haven't been driving that far or that long, but it's already like quarter, 20 after three in the morning in game time. That, that just blows my mind that it's set up that way. I just kind of wish that there was a mod. Well, if there is, I haven't found it. In, game, in the in-game mod hub, not one I have to find externally or pay for. Um, that would kind of make the t drive time a little bit more realistic as far as how quickly the time goes, depending on how fast we're going. I mean, maybe that's just me, and there probably is something that does that. Are we really driving through a national park? I would assume so, because that's a visitor center. Ah, the dam. Or one of the dam. One of the dams. How many times can I say dam? <laughs> if only it was light out. Next uh, videos I do, I'll try to. Ooh, viewpoint. I may try to uh, make my way over this way. You know what? While we're here, I know it's dark. Let's see what we can do. Make a quick detour. Recalculating. Make a U-turn. Recalculating. Yeah, it's gonna... GPS does not like me. Make a U-turn. Oh, hush. Flaming Gorge Dam. That's what it's called. Yeah, 
I'll definitely have to come back and redo this when it's the light out for you guys. Show you just how beautiful the game can be. It's not the obviously you can't tell at, the, at nighttime, but what do you want, Pooch? Think of it this way, it's giving me a chance to take get the dog out of the cab and get him walked. You know, the viewpoints that they have in game are spectacular. They truly are viewpoints. And it makes me want to kind of make a trip around the country to view, to find the viewpoints that they have in game and find them in real life. All right, pups, you good to go? You back in the cab? Good. We got a delivery to make. Let's go. Turn right. like we have a little bit of over an hour of drive time left from what I can tell so we aren't that far from our destination at least as far as the in-game time goes we'll put it that way thankfully it's not an actual hour of drive time because I don't know if I'd be able to do ATS videos like that very often I mean I love this game but if an entire, if a short trip like this took me like eight hours in real life, holy schnickies. The amount of hours that I put in, let alone some of the other people that, you know, do some of these virtual trucking companies, which I thought about taking a look at and possibly joining one or two, or at least one, or looking into joining one. Um... I mean, maybe, if anything, I'm sure I could figure out a way to make it to where the hours would count for real life. So if I'm sitting here recording everything and I'm doing everything by the book, I better believe I wanted something real out of it. I actually have heard of rumors anyway of real life trucking companies uh, kind of using ATS um, as a training tool like I said those are rumors I don't know how accurate they are I take it you know things like that with a grain of salt whenever it comes to video games you know just hey it I find it hard to believe but at the same time it would be very awesome if it was real up here. I have to slow down for that second one. That looks a little sharp on the GPS. But yeah. Just a little bit anyway. A couple of S's. Now if we were racing here, woo -wee, this would be fun as heck. I'm not big on drifting myself. I don't do it very well, but at the same time, this would probably be an awesome road to drift on. 
assuming of course you could get closed off and you don't have uncom oncoming traffic to run into. Of course the sun's coming up now so if only would had come up like you know an hour or two ago when you're at that uh, viewpoint. That sun sunrise over there is beautiful. Almost makes me feel like I need actual sunglasses. Almost. The rest of my room is dark, so it would make the other things difficult, but. That stop at the viewpoint kind of added some time to our delivery, but we shouldn't be too far out. Use the right lane, then turn right. Turn right. Right. Probably swing by that Kenworth uh, place there, get a little work done on the old girl. Even if this take is a freight right liner, ahead. they will still take my money and they will still do the work. Ah, yes, here's the Coca Cola plant. Turn right. Ooh, fancy. Arrived. Hey there. Yeah, just around the corner? Okay. Must have had a delivery recently of some forklifts, or there's someone waiting to pick them up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this kind of blind here. See where it needs to go back there, I think. Turning a little bit easier than I expected it to be. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Maybe the trailer would have acted a little bit better.
made it. All right, guys. You know the drill. If you happen to like what you see, you catch yourself watching more than one of my videos. Give us a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post, and not just select you here and there. If you guys are already subscribed, I thank you and I greatly appreciate it. Excuse me. So with that being said, until next time, take care. Peace.